now I'll take the template and just trace it out. Line both ends up. So I've got all these blocks cut out now. What I'm going to do is cut the tenon first before I cut the curve out. If I cut the curve first and then try to cut the tenon, I wouldn't really have much, register, much to register off of. Now I'm going to cut them on the table saw. I'm just going to set the fence up a half inch from the blade. Now I'm just going to slowly raise the blade until I get the width right and I'll test it in the, in the mortises. And then what I'll probably do is get the sled out and then stand it up on end and cut the rest of the, the, end, the ends of the tenon out and finish that way. Before I begin though, I'll, I'm gonna mark out the tenons with this marking gauge. So I've got the tenons cut or marked out, so now I'm going to set it up on the blade. Um, and the reason I'll, I'll mark all the way to the bottom is so that when I'm setting it up uh, to the fence, I can check on the front. I'm going to push it up and see where the teeth are hitting at on my line. And then I can also check on the back and make sure they're hitting in the same spot. So now that I've got it set up like I want, I'm going to lower the blade back down and just start taking life paths. that does it just very slowly makes the tenon and obviously it would not fit if I tried to put it in there so what I'll do is just keep minutely turning up the blade just a little bit at a time going on one side flipping it over doing the other side and checking again and just keep going until it fits snugly all right so I finished on that first tenon you can see where I ended up, and if I take the mortise, I can put, kind of push the chisel, the tendon in there, and it fits pretty snugly. So I'm happy with that. I'm probably going to leave the setup on the table saw as is, and go ahead and cut all the other three. I'm not too concerned about any kind of variance in the width of the mortises. I mean, they're gonna basically a quarter of an inch, um, and it's snug enough to where I've tried it out in all four of them, and it pretty much fits the same, so I'm going to go ahead and trust that the setting's okay. So I decided against the sled because the back fence is not square anymore. I think it's because when I pick it up, 
I grab it like this, and I think I've just put too much stress and it's bent out. I need to make a new one anyway, out of some plywood or something. That's made out of uh, melamine, uh, it's chipboard covered in melamine. So I decided to set up a sacrificial fence, and it turns out my miter gauge is not square with the table saw top either. So I found some specialized shims, and they come in multicolors. Uh, my daughter happened to have them for some reason, so I took them and I'm using them. And I'm going to set up like this. That way I can line up and just take, take passes and cut out the sides of the tenon. And that's the plan. So here it is, tenon. Now basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting exactly to the line on top and then just kind of sneaking up on the bottom just so I know that every piece is exactly the same distance from the top of the post. So I'm cutting this one exact and then just sneaking on the bottom until it fits in the tenon or in the morris. And you can see when I put it in it's very snugly. So all I have to do is kind of trim away at the little the leftover small pieces of wood. Because what, what ended up happening is I didn't get all the way perfectly to my scribe line. I'm like just shy of it. So what I'm going to do is take my chisel and just clean away to the line. Clean off this leftover wood here and then it should just uh, flush up to the post. And uh, it's already late, so I'm going to finish the other three tomorrow, or Thursday, or the next day. It's Tuesday today, so, you know. <laughs>